Hi there, it's Gabrielle Nicolet from Speech Kids where we teach little kids to talk and help parents understand their little kids. And today we're gonna to talk about, ew, gross, disgust. Um, so disgust is a really interesting, and I hope you'll bear with me for a minute while I describe how interesting disgusting is as an emotion, um, because it's designed to keep us safe. It is a survival instinct that goes way, way back, right? You didn't eat those berries because they were yucky and would kill you. Um, you ate the other ones that tasted good. So disgust has deep, deep roots, which means it is really hard to get rid of, <laughs> even though we don't maybe really need it in modern life. Um, so what ends up happening is uh, we grown-ups feel really uncomfortable when our child is expressing disgust um, because it's sort of been bred out of us um, and politeness has taken over. And so we have this push-pull response with um, a natural reaction to something that is being perceived by the body as threatening. And then our social response to want to be polite. Um, and the fact of the matter is in very small kids, they're just too young to care about politeness. And there's gonna be time for that. Um, and I know many, many parents fret about this, um, that you know they worry that their kids will be awful, misbehaved, horrible people. Um, and I can assure you, if you are watching these videos, if you have spent any amount of time with your child, they won't. <laughs> There's plenty of time to learn social niceties later. So let's go back and talk about disgust, the emotion um, that keeps us safe. So when something new is introduced, and it could be a new unfamiliar person, it could be a new unfamiliar food, the example that always springs to mind is, you know, a new food where what does your kid do? You put a new food in their mouth and they sort of go and they reject it immediately. And then they might realize they like it or they might not. Um, but that disgust, that rejection of something that might be threatening, um, again, it's, it's kind of an inborn thing. And so what can you do in that moment? Just roll with it. Um, if we start shaming our kids for their preferences, we risk, number one, breeding shame. And you can go back and watch the video on shame. Shame is really toxic. Um, and you can go and read many, many Brene Brown books about shame. It's bad for you um, <laughs> and bad for our kids, especially. Um, but if we start covering up stuff like that, right? Covering up, telling, our, signaling to our children that we need for them to um, fake that they like something, then that has implications for later. That has implications for um, when they are with a group of kids who are doing something that maybe shouldn't be done or that your child isn't comfortable with and they decide to override their safety instinct in order to stay with the group. Um, so it not uh, acknowledging and not encouraging our children to have their own preferences has long-term implications. Um, but let's go back to like, okay, what can I do when my kid is like spitting out food, <laughs> right? Because those teenage years are a bit in the future um, when your child is two and like spitting on you. Um, the first thing you gotta do is stay calm. Not easy to do. And then I would calmly notice neutrally tone of voice. Oh, you really didn't like that. You think that's gross. End of story, move on do something else, uh, distract. If your child is any younger than two, um, sometimes two and a half year olds, you can just distract them with something else. Um, it doesn't have to be like a big thing. It really, really doesn't. Um, just because kids are wearing their re reactions on the outside and they haven't yet learned how to um, be nice and internalize things that other people might perceive as rude, doesn't mean we need to get on their case because they're still young and they're still figuring it out. So, uh, disgust, necessary uh, or formerly necessary, but definitely hardwired, um, but it's okay. You're not gonna raise a rude child just because they indicate strong preferences now. 
All right, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.